The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Jonah. The word of Yahweh was addressed to Jonah a second time. Up, he said, go to Nineveh, the great city, and preach to it as I shall tell you. Jonah set out and went to Nineveh in obedience to the word of Yahweh. Now Nineveh was a city great beyond compare. To cross it took three days. Jonah began by going a day's journey into the city and then proclaimed, Only forty days more and Nineveh will be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed in God. They proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth, from the greatest to the least. When the news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, took off his robe, put on sackcloth, and sat down in ashes. He then had it proclaimed throughout Nineveh by decree of the king and his nobles as follows. No person or animal, herd or flock may eat anything. They may not graze, they may not drink any water. All must put on sackcloth and call on God with all their might. And let everyone renounce his evil ways and violent behavior. Who knows? Perhaps God will change his mind and relent and renounce his burning wrath so that we shall not perish. God saw their efforts to renounce their evil ways, and God relented about the disaster which he had threatened to bring on them, and did not bring it. In our response, from Psalm 130, From the depths I call to you, Yahweh, Lord, hear my cry. Listen attentively to the sound of my pleading. If you kept a record of our sins, Lord, who could stand their ground? But with you is forgiveness that you might be revered. Let Israel hope in Yahweh, for with Yahweh is faithful love, with him generous ransom, and he will ransom Israel from all its sins. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. In the course of their journey, he came to a village, and a woman named Martha welcomed Jesus into her house. She had a sister called Mary, who sat down at the Lord's feet and listened to him speaking. Now Martha who was distracted with all the serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister is leaving me to do the serving all by myself? Please tell her to help me. But the Lord answered, Martha, Martha, he said, you worry and fret about so many things and yet few are needed. Indeed, only one. It is Mary who has chosen the better part and it is not to be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord.